This is Ricky Chanda from Astro Hero. On the 13th of February, Sun will take a transit, will move into the sign of Aquarius, where we will see a conjunction, a Yuki, with his own son, Saturn, who is placed in his own sign, the Mool Tricona sign of Aquarius. We will also see a conjunction of Venus along with these two planets. We need to understand that Sun, the father, Saturn, the son, <clears throat> signifies, Sun signifies your confidence, leadership quality, egoism, administration and politics. Whereas, Saturn is a significator of boundaries, limitation, discipline, karma, justice. Now, since it is into the sign of Aquarius, which also is a sign which represents equality, justice, bringing everything to surface according to your karmas. These two planets are meeting and sun taking a transit. <clears throat> How it is going to impact each one of us according to our lagna and the moon sign. Before I start this video, let me tell you during this period till the 15th of March stay away from being egoistic that's one remedy one mantra that I can give you that will definitely help you so let's begin with the first sign Aries for the sign of Aries for the sign of Aries, the sun transit will give you confidence. But this confidence should not become overconfidence. Or else, you will have issues, problems at your workplace with your seniors. Yes, all your desires will be fulfilled. Financial gains can be seen. If you are looking for an increment, if you are looking for a, a, a good news uh, from the, at the work front, definitely this is going to be a good period for you because this conjunction is happening in your 11th house. So it's really very good. Also, if possible, take care of your health. Health could be a little issue with you. The, the, the conjunction is looking at the fifth house. Make sure that in your romantic relationship, there should not be any clashes, no ego. Speak your heart out and all would be well. For the sign of Taurus, this conjunction of Sun and Saturn is happening in your 10th house. From 10th house, both the planets are looking at the 4th house. I see quite a significant change in your career. Promotion, good income, respect in the society, at your workplace, good coordination with your seniors, with your colleagues and so on. Also, there are chances of you getting a promotion. If it's due, you will definitely get a promotion also. Uh, financial viewpoint, I suppose, uh, will definitely improve. There's no doubt about it. Also, Saturn and Sun in your 10th house tells you to work even more harder. 10th house also is a house of your father. Maybe 
that you need to stay away from any type of argument, any type of clashes with your father. That's it. For the sign of Gemini, Sun, who is transiting into the sign of Aquarius, is the lord of your third house, is getting into your ninth house of fortune, looking back to the third house. I personally feel good result, good time for you, opportunities are coming your way, chances of promotion, your name, your fame, the respect in the society will definitely rise. Maybe because it is into the ninth house, you may be inclined towards religious activities as well. Take care of your younger sibling. If you have your brother or sister who are younger to you, maybe their health may require your attention. Chances of long distance travel because it is the ninth house. So, but I would advise you do not start anything new during this transit. Yes, you are going to meet someone who will become your guru or your mentor who will guide you in uh, future. Health is good, it's improving and this is a good transit for you. For the sign of cancer, Sun rules your second house and it is taking a transit and having a conjunction with Saturn in the 8th house. You know that you are already into the Dahiya period. Now, average uh, transit for you but there are few red flags I want to give it to you. Avoid any new type of investments. While driving, if you are driving, be careful. Don't be rash. Chances of injury, accident is there. Rel relationship with your in-laws could, could be disturbed. No investments, no speculation because 8th house uh, is saying that this time speculation is to be avoided. Mental stress will be there. You will remain a little bit uh, quarrelsome also. I also see traveling. If you have to travel, the travel will not be fruitful. It's best that you avoid travel during this time. Yes, but if you are into research work, if you are into investigation, if you are doing your uh, thesis or if you are into occult, then Yes, this is a very good time for you. For the sign of Leo, the Lord of your Lagna, your first house, is getting into the seventh house, looking back at the seventh house. The first thing is married life. Could be a bit tense. Health of your partner, life partner, could be bad. Good time for business. But there could be some disagreement with your business partner. If you have been working very hard, then I can see a promotion for you. Definitely a good period as far as your job, your career is concerned. Also, there are chances that you may get caught up into some legal situation. Maybe for example of non-payment or non-compliance of some taxes or something like that. Be a bit careful about it. As I mentioned, take care of your health and more so over about, uh, be careful about your uh, health of your life partner. Don't trust people blindly. Check whether, if you're meeting a new person, check whether the credentials and only then go forward with any type of activities that you plan to. दोस्तों नमस्कार क्या जीवन में आपके करियर को लेके रोमांस को लेकर के अपनी पर्सनल ग्रोथ को लेकर के उलझने हैं परेशान हो और अगर ऐसा है 
तो मुझ पर विश्वास कीजिए कि वैदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी में ये सभी प्रश्नों के उत्तर आपके लिए हैं तो आप मुझसे संपर्क कीजिए और मैं आपको ये विश्वास दिलाता हूँ कि मैं आपको किस रास्ते जाना है इसके बारे में बहुत कुछ बता सकता हूँ For the sign of Virgo, the Lord of your twelfth house is getting into your sixth house. So we have to understand this. It is yes, you will get good result as far as your job is concerned, your career is concerned. But there are some people, your opponents, your enemies who will try to disturb you or cause hurdles for you. But Shani Dev and Sun both in the sixth house. forms a shatru hanta yog which means you will be able to defeat all your enemies all your opponents and there will be no competitors but there would be a little bit of disturbance take care of your expenses your expenses also could be on on a rise and incredibly very high which will also disturb your budget also take care of your health your health also also especially with your digestive system acidity and so on uh i can expect a uh, a long journey or a journey abroad for you so if you are planning if you are waiting for a journey abroad going uh, to a foreign land this may happen during this transit hello friends are you feeling a bit lost in your life you are searching for answers pertaining to your career maybe your love life your personal growth and so on believe me astrology has all the answers for you get in touch with me and i will help you out whichever way i can for the sign of libra the lord of your 11th house is getting into the 5th house looking back at the 11th house your financial conditions is definitely improving no doubt about it something i want to share with you time for introspection you may introspect you must think back and see what were your mistakes that you have done or made in your life whatever you have committed you will do that and you will also try to find out what were the mistakes and you will also take a resolution not to commit it once again so it is best that you introspect think whatever you have done in your past make sure that you don't repeat especially do not repeat a mistake that you must have committed in your relationship so that is the introspection i'm talking about that is very important also uh you if you are a student you will have a lack lack of uh concentration you will find it very difficult to focus in your studies but then you have to work very hard towards it health i would say guess there could be some stomach uh, related issues digestive system could be very sensitive you need to take care of that dosto jab bhi aap apne career ko lekar ke koi faisla karte ho aur kar nahi pate ho to vedic astrology ke paas aapke sare prashnon ka uttar hai jahan par aapko kaun sa career choose karna hai aapke 10th house ko dekh kar ke 10th ghar ko dekh kar ke uske स्वामी को देख करके आठवें घर को देख करके कौन से ग्रह दसवें घर को देख रहे हैं इन सब चीज़ों से हम पता लगा सकते हैं कि आपका करियर क्या है और करियर वो होना चाहिए जो आपके मन मुताबिक हो तो आपको पूरी संतुष्टि मिल सकती है फ्रेंड्स वेन इट कम्स टू योर करियर पाथ वेन इट कम्स टू सक्सेस ऑफ योर करियर वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी हैज दी आंसर्स there are four five aspect that normally is looked into the lord of your 10th house its placement 
the planets looking at the 10th house, also a significant role played by the 8th lord and so on. So if you want to have your profession which matches or resonates with your passion, I think one should always fall back on Vedic Astrology which has the answers for you. For the sign of Scorpio, let us understand that the lord of your 10th house is getting into your fourth house and from fourth again it is looking at the tenth house there could be disturbance there could be conflict there could be tension in your family so counting from that from the 13th right up till 15th of march that 30 days be a little careful as far as family is concerned so i would say lack of harmony at your place you will not be able to gel quite well with your family members. Parents' health also could be affected during this time. You need to take care of your parents' health as well. Also, family-related expenses would be on a higher side. That also will disturb your budget. So, you have to uh, be a little um, you know, careful about that. Try your best to keep Families, family issue and your professional issue no separate not that because you are disturbed at home you carry that uh, with that mood if you go at your workplace that may create problem or if you have some issues at your workplace you bring it back home so you should know how to segregate and keep both uh, you know both the places <clears throat> you need to balance over here also, uh, I would advise you, uh, health-wise, you might only have one issue that's going to be mental disturbance for the next days, 30 days counting from the 13th of February. Sagittarius. For the sign of Sagittarius, the Lord of your ninth house is moving into the third house. We all know Saturn would be placed already in the third house, which is a very good position. Sun getting into the third house. This could be a little uh, troublesome for your younger sibling. Maybe their health uh, could be a little concern over here. In your, at your workplace, wherever you are working, you will get good support of your co-workers, your colleague, your seniors. They all will be very supportive. But if you have to travel, short distance travel, that will put a lot of uh, stress on you. So try and avoid traveling during this time. Your financial condition is getting better, improving and you know that you are now out of Sarasati period as well. So all in all, I see this is a very good transit for you. Capricorn. For the sign of Capricorn, Sun, which is taking a transit, is a ruler of your 8th house and getting into the 2nd house. Now, from the 2nd house, it's looking back at the 8th house. Try and understand the situation. This transit is going to be very beneficial for you in financial areas. Yes, there could be some problems in your family. That is the second house known as Kutumba Bhava. Again, second house talks about mouth and you whatever you eat. So overeating could make you disturb, take care of that uh, as well. Because it is looking at the eighth house, sudden monetary gains is possible. If you are looking for ancestral property uh, to come your way, definitely this is a period. Business-wise also, yes, you can do investment. It's a good time for you. There's no problem. Take care of your life partner's health. That could be because for the life partner, the seventh house, this becomes the, uh, the second house becomes the eighth house for the life partner. All your early investments that you did or have done will now give you dividends. So that, that will give you good returns now. The sign of Aquarius, Lord of your seventh house, is getting into your Lagna, into your first house. 
वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू हैव टू नाउ एडॉप्ट अ गुड लाइफ स्टाइल कीपिंग योर ईटिंग हैबिट्स ऑल्सो एंड योर हेल्थ ऑल्सो इन माइंड मेक सम चेंजेस डू सम प्लान वॉट आर यू ईटिंग वेन आर यू ईटिंग सम एक्सरसाइज गोइंग आउट हिटिंग द जिम बी अ बिट डिसिप्लिन टूवर्ड्स योर हेल्थ दैट इज अ कंसर्न टेंशन कुड बी देर इन योर मेरिटल लाइफ बट येट योर पार्टनर इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी सपोर्टिव वेरी स्वीट टूवर्ड्स टूवर्ड्स यू यू कुड हैव अ ईगो प्रॉब्लम You will become a little egoistic uh, during this time, and you must take charge of that, control that. Also, I see that you will be quite socializing. You will go out, meet people, go out, and uh, get uh, you know get into touch with some new people, new contacts is possible. Your immunity also will strengthen, which means if you really work very hard on your lifestyle, your eating habits. definitely this is a time for improvement as far as your health is concerned for the sign of pisces the lord of your 6th house is getting into the 12th house looking back at the 6th house we need to understand both the houses first of all see your your expenses are on a very high side higher side and that might put you into tension also i see that if you are planning or if you are waiting to travel abroad going abroad whether for work or for studies this is a good time financial conditions also uh, might keep you a little disturbed because your expenses are so high that whatever income that you are making is not enough to handle your expenses so you have to take charge of that also take care of your health but business point of view this is a good time for your business you will get good uh, business if you are dealing with uh, foreign contacts import export if you are working with an mnc multinational company this is a good period for you you will be quite busy traveling all throughout this transit for work you will have to be a little careful with your opponents your competitors they may try to uh, you know plan some strategy against you but don't worry everything will be fine so friends this was my analysis regarding the transit of sun into the sign of aquarius if you did like this video give it a like subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell icon as well